And I, and I want to begin first with uh, Dr. Anand Ranganathan. Dr. Ranganathan, look, uh, you know, the usual, the usual bile is flowing forth. Now, is there justification for this? Is there really a pakhand that is going on in the name of Ram? Uh, good evening, Rahul. Look, a lot of bile is flowing, but a lot of amrit is also flowing. So it's best to concentrate on that fact. Because the bile may flow out of hate or ignorance. You cannot stop it. Some people will never realize why civilizations are not fleeting like empires to demand justice for a people who are dead for hundreds of years. It is almost as though you can feel their pain, their suffering, their destruction that has transcended the limits of body and time. And that is why I said history is a medicine, why catharsis is a cure. And when I see today the rights of our ancestors being reclaimed, I see this as a catharsis, as a deliverance of justice to my ancestors who were wrong. And I said history is a medicine. Well, there has been a very bitter medicine for the Hindus, Rahul. Our leaders feared the consecration of Somnath would herald Hindu revivalism. And we stayed silent. Our leaders gave away the most sacred Christian Janamstan fraudulently to the predatory Eidgah side and we stayed silent. Our leaders promulgated the evil Places of Worship Act to deny us our legitimate right to reclaim our temples and we stayed silent. Our leaders loved Babar more than Ram. Let me tell you of Babar in Nehru's words, quote, Babar was one of the most cultured and delightful persons one could meet. He did not destroy as his ancestors did. He was a gallant knight. There was no sectarianism in Babar, no religious bigotry, unquote. This is from Nehru's glimpses of world history. And now let me tell you of Babar, in Babar's words, quote, I was a wanderer for the sake of Islam and I battled infidels and Hindus determined to become a martyr. But thanks to Allah, I became a Ghazi. Ghazi means killer of infidels. This is from Babar Nama, Babar's own words. And is it any surprise then that Babar's tomb was visited by Nehru in 1959, by Indira in 1968, by Rajiv in 1976, by Rahul in 2005. And none of them, none of them ever visited Ram Janamsthan. 500 years, 20 generations before us, Rahul, were forced to see the Babri Masjid instead of the Ram Temple. The 21st generation is seeing the Ram Temple instead of Babri Masjid. And that is why these people are annoyed. That is why the bile is flowing. But I'll tell you, let's ignore it. Because while some advance to greatness, others return to it. And we Indians, we do both. Burn. Okay. Dr. Raman, let me bring you in. BJP National Spokesperson is also there with us. Sanju Varma. And of course, uh, there is Monojit Mondol who also questions the BJP on issues such as this. So, let me bring you in first, uh, Dr. Raman. Can you explain on what basis is this Surya Tilak ceremony hailed by the Prime Minister a pakhand or a pretense on part of the BJP to further its own political ambitions? Um, Rahul, uh, first of all, let me start by saying I have just come to the show after attending a puja for Ram Nami. I am a very devout Hindu and as devout a Hindu, I don't need certificates from anybody on my Hindu identity. The point really is that, uh, you know, this tilak, the rays of the sun falling on a particular, um, you know, deity uh, is literally thousands of years old. I can show you at least half a dozen temples in Tamil Nadu where this architecture, uh, marvel, where on specific days of the year, the rays of the sun fall on the idol is something which we have seen for, uh, you know, uh, at least 500, 600 years. There are many temples where, uh, um, you know, it is already there. So I don't, uh, you know, see this as some kind of a, a unique feature at uh, Ayodhya. It is there in several temples around the country. Now, the point really is, clearly, there is an election. The hope was that the Ram Mandir would be a major uh, political issue across the country and the fact that the, uh, the Pran Pratishta ceremony has been held would be a big vote catcher. Uh, at this point of time, outside maybe Uttar Pradesh, that does not seem to be uh, the case. Or certainly outside the Hindi belt, it doesn't seem to be the case. So maybe there was a need to sort of look at the end of the day, 
this the the issue of hindu muslim or hindus versus as uh, 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 dr lagaradan brought in babar and so on it is sad that 10 years after 10 years in power we are still going and fighting an election on the hindu muslim issue it is extremely unfortunate this is an election which should be fought on everything else it should be fought on unemployment it should be fought on inflation it should be fought on fought on development issues and so on and here we are talking about uh, uh, you know uh, whether the opposition is not hindu enough and whether they hate hindus i mean this dialogue is running thin and people at least in southern part of india have had enough of this dialogue which is what you will possibly see on the june on, on the 4th of june i don't know how people in the north are still um, whether they are receptive to it or not but as far as people in southern india are concerned this script has worn thin we are deeply devout religious hindus the place for our religion is a personal space it okay. is inside our home and it is inside our mandir if you That's are devout if you are devout do, do you if you are very quickly if you are devout uh, dr raman as you are i'm I, and i'm not trying to in any way confer a certificate or ask you here to prove your worthiness to the cause etc i just want to ask you do you believe the dmk that has used certain expressions which the supreme court has called out was I it doing well, one second sir was it doing a service to your beliefs dr raman number 1 number 2 and would you being a devout hindu vote want to vote for the dmk that is talking about issues which also yeah. quite frankly belong to a past and perhaps have worn thin look rahul i have been taking on the dmk on this issue ever since i was in college will you vote right? for them? ever since i started my television career i have been taking on the dmk yeah. for their consistently and persistently anti hindu okay. stance that that is a different issue or oh, different from issue. The, yes because oh i see because because yeah. the across yeah. the country people so, so it's a different issue to, viewers in the south you can abuse you can this abuse the sanatan no, dharma no, according no, no, to I dr my Amar. opposition huh no i did not say that huh. when did i say that please don't put words into my mouth i never <laughs> said you can abuse i said the dmk has been doing it for 50 years no, will you continue to vote for the dmk will you vote for the dmk i know whether I, i cannot tell you who i will vote okay. for but do you think people really, do you no, think no, the second, do you think do you think do you think devoted hindus in the south therefore should vote for the dmk would look would would hang on would own, believing muslims vote own. for a, another muslim who comes around and no, no. says awful things about their faith one second right now every opinion poll yeah. including whatever you no, have i'm i'm asking you a question the forget these opinion polls people are voting for the dmk uh, you people know, are on. voting for the dmk okay so are you suggesting right? are you suggesting that in the south you can continually Because attack the religion and people don't care nobody attacks okay. outside tamil nadu it is only a culture which is okay. unique dr ranganathan has raised part. his hand since you since, why, i'll just bring you in sanju just one second uh, dr ranganathan wants to debate yes now i have tremendous respect for dr raman he knows it and he has made some very sensible points but on one point i'd like to rebut him because he says i wish this election uh, oncoming election was fought not on ram mandir but on inflation on growth on unemployment well i want to ask him uh, i hope he doesn't interrupt me but i would like his answer to my rebuttal of his what do you want the opposition to do to fight on inflation that is the lowest 4.9% the the opposition slogan should be raise the inflation we protest what do you want the hmm. opposition to say that why is the unemployment lowest 3.1% what do you want the opposition to say that why is the forex 650 billion why is the gdp 8.4 billion this quarter uh, 8.4% what do you want the opposition to say how on earth how on earth has modi pulled out 250 million people from abject poverty is this the reason what do you want the opposition to say dr raman that unemployment no no sir i i only want to know no no i i just say something if one second yes 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 i'll bring you have been pulled out of poverty yes okay okay one why second why do 80 why do 80 crore people yeah. require free right. rations for five more years i'm bringing you They've in sanjeev let him poverty. finish We are not running no, away. We've got time. Why are you getting agitated? I just said I want to come in. I, I know. I'm just bringing you in. I'm only saying. Please don't get upset. I'm only saying I'm bringing you in. Give me, give me thirty seconds. 